Okay, so we are going to do a recap of conference 2020. This is, it's such a, so important to get to these events. There's gonna be events all over that you guys can check events.itworks.com and see one that's coming near you that you can get to in person. But conference is our biggest event that happens every year at the end of January, beginning of February, usually that time frame. Next year, it's Super Bowl um, in Tampa. So I'm not sure if that's gonna move. The date's gonna move around a little bit there, but it's usually at the end of January, beginning of February. And it's so big, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people all in a stadium. Um, it's actually the Molly Arena, Molly, Molly Arena? Arena? Whatever, where the hockey is <laughs> in Tampa. Uh, but it's really, it's just so, such a great feeling being in an environment with everyone else that's so positive and uplifting. Um, because I know a lot of us have had lives or had things in our past happen that we're draining and that a lot of us are going to talk about a little bit of our stories tonight. So I want you guys that we're at conference to share a little bit about your story, um, share your biggest aha moment, biggest takeaway from conference so that people that weren't there will experience a little bit of it with us. And I'm going to hit on the announcements. So I think the announcements I'm going to do at the end. Um, so we're going to do the announcements, new products, bonuses, uh, business starter kit discounts. I'll, I'll go over all that at the end uh, for people that have questions and open it up to a Q&A. So we're going to try to get this done before nine o'clock because there is another Zoom. So Sabrina's going to start with a video and then I'll go into a little bit about my story and then I'll just go along the screen as, as I see of people that went to conference and drop the questions in the chat if you have questions for people while they're talking to. Um, Sabrina, I think you can share your screen or should I just pull up the video? <laughs> This is a video from conference. <laughs> oh yeah, Cindy said she's coming to the Philly event. There is a Philly event for It Works that we're going to. If anyone wants to come to Philly, you always have somewhere to crash. <laughs> Are you pulling it up or you want me to? Yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. I was just making sure you weren't doing it. Right. Coco, don't you dare start barking. I know, that's probably him. All right, so this is the recap video um, from conference. Whoever wasn't there, they literally filmed the entire conference and we actually made it in this video, so I wanted to show you guys, but here's a recap that they do every single year. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, there wasn't really any sound with that, but um, we're gonna just send the link later so people can see it and watch it after. I don't know why I was like muffled, but Sabrina, actually, why don't you just go and start and then I'll go after you and then we'll go along the line. Okay. Okay, so this is, this past conference was my third, no, second, second one, third one. Third. Two. No, it was my second. Oh, third. No, we went to green carpet, and I always thought that first green carpet that we went to was conference, but it was a conference. Yeah. Okay. So, and each time I go, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's like, you can ask anybody that was there with me, like, my hands get sweaty. You get, like, that, like, pit in your stomach. Like, you just feel the vibe from everybody around you. Like, you feel the sensation, like, vibrating off of everybody that, like, people are there for a reason. Like people are there because someone asked them, like people reached out to these people that filled up this arena to be there and that they wanted more and that they wanted a different outcome of their life. And they wanted more income. They wanted more freedom. They wanted more time. Like, and it's just crazy and mind blowing that like all these people come together under one roof. And like, you think you're alone. You think that you're the only person that decided to do this business like this. You think you're the only person that has struggled. You think you're the only person that life sucks. And yeah, like we're selfish like that because we think like that. We think our life is the worst life. We think our life, you know, there are people that I'm, I'm sorry to say, but there are people that have it worse off. And we always have to remember that we are blessed to have the opportunities that we have. And I just always leave so grateful after conference that like, I have an amazing support system. I have my health back. Like I've struggled through a lot of things, but this business has always given me, it's always giving me like an outreach. You know what I mean? Like I've never once felt alone in this business. I signed up with Melissa, not even knowing what products she sold. I didn't know what this business was, but her vibe and what she brought to the table and her passion for what she wanted more in her life attracted me. And I was like, yes, because that is what I want. And you have to get over yourself. Being at conference shows you that you need to get over yourself. You hear so many stories of people that have struggled, like there was a girl that was called out in the stands and we all started crying because her mom was in the hospital while she was at conference and she didn't know if she was going to see her mom again. And we all stopped and we all prayed for her mother together. They stopped the conference and we prayed for her mother. What type of business gives you that type of family guys? Like, and like, I'm shaking right now talking about it because I've never had more of a family than this one right here that I have with you guys. And like, I may not know all of you personally, but trust me that I, that I like love you guys and I want you to be successful, but you have to fucking want that for yourself first. I'm done. I'm like shaking. <laughs> I should that first. So I wouldn't be crying when I talk. Um, but can you just say your name, your rank and, uh, about your story? Yeah, I, totally, I totally forgot that part. That was just like, but for people that are new now. For the people that are new, my name's Sabrina. I officially made three years in the business. I am a diamond leader going double this month, going triple to claim all those bonuses by March. Um, and, and my biggest aha from conference was just, you are never, ever alone. And you are capable of all things. You just have to get out of your own damn way. And that's it. And you've been in the business for three years. Three years. And three before, years in January. And before it works? Before it works, I was working 50 to 60 plus hours a week as a veterinary surgery uh, technician at a vet hospital. Um, and I was doing dialysis treatments three nights a week at a clinic for four and a half hours. I was diagnosed with kidney um, disease stage four when I was 14, progressed to stage five, failed at age of 21. So both of my kidneys failed at the age of 21, was put on dialysis. And if you don't know what dialysis, you can Google it. It's awful. Um, but it was the one thing that kept me alive and kept me on this earth. So I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful for the struggles that it gave me for six freaking years. Um, but three years into dialysis is when I found this business. I was literally 
running myself into the ground, guys. I was constantly in and out of the hospital. I was constantly being told by my doctor, Sabrina, you cannot work the amount of hours you're working. You're constantly in the hospital. You're anemic. Like you're, you know, my fistula was clotting from like picking up big dogs and like overexerting myself. So my fistula is where I did treatment and it would clot off because I would do too much strenuous activity. And I found this business three years into dialysis because I, in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, I can't do this anymore. Like I physically, and I pushed hard guys. Like no, if you ask any about any of my coworkers, they never even knew about my, my disease until I had to cut back my hours. And the only time I was able to cut back my hours is because of this business, because I was stuck working 50, 60 hours a week. Now I clock in at work because I want to, not because I have to for a paycheck. And I get to do what I love with this business and I get to work with animals because I love it as well. So I'm best, I'm able to have both of my slices of cake and eat it too. And I'm appreciative of that. But the only reason why I'm only there one, two days a week now is because of this business. I go because I want to, not because I have to. And like everybody says when you join this business, like we're not telling you to quit your job. You can if you want to. But if you love your job, you can still work. Like I still work with animals. And in the future, I'm gonna open my own rescue. I'm gonna have my own rehab and you know, rescue, you know, facility for marine life. Like I have all these big goals and dreams, but that's only possible because of this business, because we're allowed to dream so big. And we're allowed to want more and not feel guilty about it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna cry. I didn't want to cry. Like I'm literally shaking. My hands are like shaking. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very emotional. So everyone that was at conference probably cried at one point or another, right? Like everyone had an emotional moment because there's so many stories that they share. Yes, you get amazing business tips. You get um, how to train new distributors, how to get make the most money, how to sell samples, how to do pop up shops. Like there's so many things that you can learn skill wise, skill set wise for your business at conference that we can relay to you. We can do that in another actually in another one because I don't think we'll have enough time to do all that. Um, and then I'll go over the announcements at the end too. But you also find a story, you find someone that like speaks to you and connects to you just to know that you're not by yourself and you're not alone. So my name is Courtney Van Auken. Um, I'm Courtney Catherine on Facebook. I've been in the business for three years. I joined a week before Sabrina did. Uh, Melissa, I joined with Melissa actually too from a post, a cleanse post. Uh, I messaged her about the cleanse, bought it, and then I ended up doing the business right away. Um, Sabrina got paired with me. She was the distributor Melissa gave me when I started. So it's awesome that she paired us together, thankfully. We're now like, we've been in this business together. So we've been through the ups and downs and the seasons and the changes. But every time that we attend an event, every time we attend a conference, we get so much from it. So you guys definitely wanna get to the events as much as possible and definitely start saving now and start making it a priority to get to conference next year. Make sure everyone that joins you in your business is knows how big and important events are, how important these Zooms are and getting on those because that's definitely gonna be how you get to the next rank and the next promotion is learning from other people and listening and hearing their stories and getting inspired. You can't be motivated. Someone can't motivate you yourself for you, right? Like you can, someone can't say, Hey, you have to do this. You have to do this. And then you, you automatically are like, yeah, I do. I got to do it. You're inspired. You're inspired by this big vision that the company has inspired by this big vision that this, the, the stories uh, and the people that are at the top, people that are ambassador diamond making $30,000 a month. And plus with this company or at black diamond making a hundred thousand dollars a month, a month with this company, people don't even see that in a year, a hundred thousand dollars a month with this company is at your fingertips. All you have to do is dive in and believe in yourself and just hearing these stories, my biggest. So before it works real quick, I guess I'll, I'm going to, I'm trying to go fast. So we can get through everybody before it works. Um, I was working full time. I was laid off in 2015 from my full-time job. And I was, I fell into like this big depression for six months. I would sleep in, I would go out, I would just eat bad food. I was just, it was literally the worst thing ever. And I just fell into this slump. Anyone that knows me personally before it works too knows that I'm like, I, I mean, and now I'm like a very multitask hard worker. Like I like to work hard. I like to do a lot of things. I'm always traveling. I like to have a lot of things under my belt. 
And when I fell into the slump of having nothing, like not having a job, I knew that I never wanted to experience that feeling again. And it happens so often to people in corporate America when you think your job's secure and you lose it. People lose it. Your main source of income, the thing that's paying all your bills, is gone now because of someone else and their reorg and whatever company decisions they're making. You have no control over that and it sucks. So when I saw Melissa's opportunity on Facebook, she was literally, she added me in October. 2016 as a friend from a promotional modeling group literally that's how she added me so when we say to expand your network every day and add people this is why i am one of the people that melissa added same thing with sabrina she's one of the people that melissa followed so like this is how it happens and it changes all of our lives like when you're adding someone you're not doing them a disservice you're going to be helping them one day by giving them a business opportunity or a health product a health and wellness product to help change their life so in October 2016, she added me. And then in January 2017, I started my business. Within a, actually within a couple months, I quit my two part-time jobs that I had. I was working part-time just to make extra money for my bills, credit card spending, all that stuff. Um, and now three years in, I am making a full-time income for my phone, five figures a month from my phone. I retired. Actually, I, I'm going to be completely honest. I got laid off from my cam, my corporate job last summer and I had this backup plan in place. So my backup plan that was my side business making me $10,000 a month became my full-time job and now I didn't have to go back to corporate America and I never will I never want to. I hate being behind a desk 9 to 5. I hate being on someone else's schedule and having to ask to be off. If I'm sick, I have to I hate having to call in and call out being sick. So I am now a full-time stay-at-home dog mom and I'm traveling. I've been in the last 3 weeks I was in Japan and then I was in Florida with the team for conference and then Sabrina and I just went to Disney World. So like we are able to create our own schedules, our own time. So this business can give you that extra income for groceries, dog food, gas money, credit card bills, but it can also pay off $30,000 in credit card debt. It can also buy you a brand new Jeep that you've always wanted and never thought you could get. It could also retire you at the age of 30 and not have to go back to behind the desk anymore. So there's so many things that this can do for you and being at conference and being around other people who uh, have hit higher goals that than I have right now that I'm I'm aim aiming for is a, the biggest aha moment for me is just listening to their stories and realizing that life is short. Like Sabrina said, one someone shared the story about their mom being in the hospital and actually her dad died a couple years before. So like it's just realizing that, and then they shared another story about someone in the audience who her husband just passed away in a car accident a couple months ago. Like literally, she was supposed to be in the car and she went and met a potential distributor instead and he died in a car crash like it's just insane to, I, mean, I have goosebumps right now thinking about it but like life is so so short and we need to be like I mean that business the business saved her life she said she's like it literally saved my life because I went and met a potential but you never know if like you know you never know how long life is right so I want to be maximizing my time the way that I want to and it wasn't behind a desk it wasn't being working for someone else's dreams I want to work for my own and we have big goals and bring big dreams as a company, as a team, we're going ambassador. Like that's hundred percent happening. So along the way of me pushing to go ambassador, that means everyone here is going to be making at least $2,000 a month. So that's like, that's just the best feeling seeing people go up on stage and talking about how this business has changed their life, but then talking about the, their team and other people that they've helped along the way, make money, retire, pay off debt. Ashley Mayfield actually said something about calculating your debt, debt down to the penny and working on paying that off because as a company, Mark Pentecost wants us all to be debt free. I'm um, sorry guys, I, just, I can't mute and talk, sorry. As a company, Mark Pentecost wants us to be debt free. He doesn't want us to be spending more money as we're making more money. He wants us to make more money, pay off our debt, change more lives. Um, the one of the, another, sorry, I know we gotta cut into the next person, but another thing was, saying someone was talking about, I forget what it was, Denise Walsh, I think, but identifying your current money mindset and like how you think about money. So money is a neutral thing. It's not good or it's bad, but if you're a good person, you're going to be doing good things with money. So the more money you're making, which is always sometimes blocked in our mind, like I can't make that much money. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But the more money you're making, if you're a good person, you're going to be changing more lives with it. You're going to be doing more things, donating more to charity. Like, did you know we donated to the V Foundation? Last year, it was like a million dollars, I think, a hundred thousand, something like that. A lot of money to a lot of different organizations. We have a whole wing of a hospital that's focused on research, um, cancer research. But there's like so many great things that are coming out of this company, and I could go on forever. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that it's very important to be involved as much as possible. Get to these events, listen to stories, and if you have any questions ever, 
just ask. Um, we're always open books to be talking about things. But next on my screen is Yami. So Yami, if you want to just do a quick who you are, um, what your life was like before it works, and basically why you joined, and then your biggest takeaway from conference. Okay, so I joined about a year and two months, I say. I don't know. Uh, so my life before, I was actually a high school student. I joined while I was in high school during my first semester. Um, it was, um, I was honestly like really like, I didn't have a high self-esteem. Um, I went around, uh, you know, putting in job applications, trying to get accepted somewhere for two years until I was 18, and I finally got a job. And then um, during that time, it wasn't a really reliable job. So I was just hopping on with clients and I wasn't getting the money that I wanted. So then Courtney came around and uh, asked uh, one of my family members for to do a host to post. And so um, the host of us said, who wants to make $100 or more? And I was like, yes. And so, I commented, she messaged me. Um, I was honestly kind of skeptical, um, but you know, she followed up and I went ahead and just did the business, business right on because I was like, I have nothing to lose. Um, we'll just do this, you know, see where it takes us. And so, yes. <laughs> um, and so what I learned from conferences is um, I was always asking about how I was going to do things. I wasn't believing in myself and I was just asking, how am I going to do this? And I was just constantly preparing, preparing for me to go diamond. And I never, you know, I never went. Why? Because I was just, you know, stuck preparing and I wasn't like, you know, going. And, um, you know, I realized that at conference, I was just stuck. I wasn't moving. I was just thinking and thinking and overthinking. I wasn't believing in myself. Awesome. And what was your, like, your favorite part of conference? What, what, like, just... Just meeting everyone and, like, hearing their stories. Honestly, it was just, like, like, breathtaking because it's just, um, you know, everyone's on the same level as you. Everyone wants the best for you. Um, you know, you're just a big family. Yeah, and just, like, you, I could tell, like, you just being around talking to people, just realizing that they share similar past experiences as you, and that you can relate, and you guys are pushing forward together. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Let's mm -hmm. see. Um, Alicia, can you just give a little bit about your story, um, your biggest aha moment from conference, and just a little bit about you, you in the business? And, and actually, can you do a little bit about how you, when you start it and how your mindset has changed since then too. Okay, so I'm Alicia. Um, so like what, what I do, like what? Um, yeah, so um, how long have you been in the business? Uh, what was your life like before? What's your goals? And what was your biggest takeaway from conference? <clears throat> Okay, so um, I've been in this business for a, a little bit over a year now. I joined uh, last year on January 18th. Um, <clears throat> and don't mind me because I think I'm fighting a cold um, since like yesterday it came down. So that might, it's a little bit crackly, but I'm going to do the best I can. Um, <clears throat> so life before it works um i was um going through a very difficult time and healing from my past from being sexually abused and going through a lot of abuse and um trauma and all that um and i was working um a couple part-time jobs and i finally found one that was uh, a full-time job and i still needed an extra income um, so I was trying to search for other sources of income and um, for like part-time work and I happened to um, be friends with Courtney and um, I don't remember if I friend requested her if she friend requested me um, but I saw this post and um, that said what would you do with $3,000 and that pulled me in and I was praying um, prior to seeing this post to be able to get like another source of income. Um, so I, and I, money was pretty tight. And so I waited until, I think it was like a, on a Wednesday. Um, 
that I saw this post and everything. And then like, I waited until Friday when I got paid and I um, just went with it, not knowing anything about the business, anything about it, about the products or anything. So I just kind of took a risk and went for it. Um, and it has, since I've joined, it has really changed my mindset and helped me to get into a much better place. And it's gained me, gained confidence. I've been able to um, look at life in a whole new perspective, um, be able to get out of my comfort zone. Um, I am been constantly doing live videos every single day, which was like one of the hardest things for me to do. And I was so afraid to do it. Um, and I felt um, really embarrassed and all that before doing it. But now I do it without a problem. And I actually love doing it. And I actually go on for more than 10 minutes pretty much every single day. Um, and then I just kind of start rambling on about stuff and what my day is and about the products that I take and all that. Um, <clears throat> what was your favorite thing from conference? For conference, um, I, don't know, I just enjoyed the whole entire trip and it was just like a life-changing experience and it was just incredible listening to all the other people share their stories and just be with um, everybody from the team in the house. And um, it was just very emotional for me because they're like when people uh, shared their stories, it just made me want to cry. And like one of the stories that was shared um, from one of the women who said that wanted to end her life, I literally wanted to get up and w walk out of the arena because uh, it hit me so hard because I struggled with that um, in my past. And it was just incredible just listening to all these different stories and then just getting all the advice and tips and everything to be successful in the business. And like worship night was incredible too. And just listening to it and just knowing that this company um, helps us uh, build our faith. Exactly. Yeah. And the common like theme among the conference was we heard <coughs> about the past, right? So people talking about like what they've gone through. So we all know that there's similar situations out there. There's similar things people have been through out there, whether it's losing a baby, um, wanting to end your life, family members. I can just end with family members, right? Like things just things in general that have happened to a lot of us. And we always think in our minds that it's just us. It just happened to us. Oh, it's just us. It, I can't be successful because of my past, because of that. But no, why not you, right? That's what they, the whole thing was. Why not you? And how these people worked through these, these very tragic life events. When Lauren Berryman shared that she lost her baby and the people closest to her had no idea, like her friends and family had no idea what to say to her. But then her It Works family, like came right in with a what would she say? Uno brought over like Uno and just like cheered her up, got her out of bed. Got her out of bed. Her. Like her, yeah, like her, literally, literally lifted family. her up. Like her blood, like her blood family guys didn't even know what to say to this woman who they raised and who they were around for her all these years. And she lost her baby. She went for her 37 week ultrasound and she had no heartbeat. And when she said that story, like I'm not a mom guys. But I know that when she said that story, she couldn't even, like her family couldn't even face her. Her It Works people drove down to see her, get her out of her apartment, get her out of her bed, get her out of this depression that she was in because they cared about her because we care about you guys. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy. And that's what, like the whole thing, like I never knew what personal development was before doing this business. I'm sure a lot of you didn't either. Like I didn't th ever think of listening to podcasts or audiobooks or anything that was going to like change my mindset. I always was like, Oh yeah, sure. Like who has time for that kind of stuff? You know what I mean? But no, it's such a game changer. If you're brand new, I highly recommend right away that you go find a podcast like Jade Hooper's podcast, Trent Shelton, uh, Rachel Hollis, Ed Millett, like, or find an audio book, your local library will probably rent them out to you for free. Um, just call them and ask them. We just did that recently and it's a game changer. So you don't have to pay for books to, to, uh, on, on audible or whatever it is. But even Trent Shelton said today, like people closest to you in your life can see your imperfections and they can see like, they, they don't see 
what, what did he say? He said it very nicely. Like they become familiar with you. So they don't see how great that you really are because they're so familiar with your imperfections and in our minds, right? We've always been programmed since we were young, that perfect is, is, is having no imperfections, having nothing wrong with you. Like greatness is perfection, right? That's what we've always thought. That's why we think that celebrities are so great and amazing because we don't see their flaws. We don't see them on a daily basis. They're not familiar to us. So our, our closest people to us, like Lauren Berryman was saying, didn't like, didn't know what to say to her. They were just like, whatever. But people, it, her, it works family who was a little bit further away, looked at her saying, wow, you're amazing. Like you can do such amazing things. They have, we have such a high, high goals, um, high vision. Like ever since starting this business, right. Your, your mind just opens up to the possibility of, wow, I can be a millionaire. Like that's never been a thought right before that, but wow, I can pay off all my debt while wow, I can do that. Like I can actually make all this money for my phone. I can change lives. That was never a thought before this business. And we just, now we look at all these people who are like, you have great things inside of you. And now the world needs to see it. And even if we're a couple steps away, we are like the, we're, we were the closest family to her or to any of us that are going through things. Um, sorry, we went on a tangent there, but I just really want to stress the importance of personal development and Lara, you're up. Okay. So I'm really sick. So, <clears throat> all right. My name is Lara. I've been in the business for about, um, a year, four months. Right. Um, I joined under Courtney, so I've known Courtney for a lot of her life. <laughs> um, so we're like related family. We have uh, the same families. Anyway, <laughs> um, I never know where to look on these things. <laughs> so anyway, um, I joined because uh, Courtney had, I bought some products and then Courtney had asked me, I think once or twice, and I was like, no, nah, I don't really want to do that. And then I just kept seeing her posts about how much she, uh, you know, how much she was making and stuff like that. And I was like, one day, I, I think I messaged her and I was like, yeah, I think I want to try it. And then, um, so I'm a Ruby and, um, what else? Um, your biggest takeaway from conference. Uh, the biggest takeaway from conference, I think was that anything is possible. There's, um, there's just so much opportunity with this business and um, I'm going to keep trying, pushing towards a uh, diamond, at least for now and, and uh, go from there. So you said before conference that you were hoping to be like, have some sort of inspiration. Do you think that you got that from being at conference? Yes. No, I definitely think so. Yeah. There's, there was a lot of inspiration in, in there. There were so many different stories, so many people talking, um, which was definitely opened up my eyes a little bit, I think, about some of it. Now, can I ask you a quick question? Because I know a lot of people struggle with this too. Why, before conference, you had a doubt in your mind that you could actually go diamond or you could actually make the money that you wanted to. But after conference, I know that it touched you and you were like, I can do this, I can do this. What was that switch flip? Um, flip switch. I think one of the biggest ones, I think, was, uh, what was her name? Ma that older woman, Mama B. Uh, Mama B. Yes, only because um, she works so much, and so do I. And she said if she could, you know, if she could work sixty to seventy hours a week and do it, then anybody could do it pretty much. So I think that was that was one of the things that really, because I don't really, um, to me, I don't really associate with a lot of those people. I feel like because they're younger and have young kids and not older kids, and and uh, or a lot of them are stay at home moms and stuff like that. So and already were stay-at-home moms, but that one really um, spoke to me, I think. Yeah, like she was a truck driver, guys, yeah. working 60 hours a week, and she found the time at her rest stops and everything to talk to people, <clears throat> message, get the, like, just get the word out about the business and the products, and she went triple diamond. Yeah. Um, and now, yeah, and, while, and now she left her truck driving job, which is great. Awesome, thank you for sharing. Um, mom. You're up. All right, I'm unmuted. <laughs> I had to let Matt know. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Janet. Um, so, ah, yes, I am Janet Pearson. I am Courtney's mommy. And I I guess I'm, I'll give you a little bit of background about me. Uh, I've been using the product for, what, about two years, I guess, ever since Courtney started on and off. 
uh, anything new would come out. She's like, mom, try this, mom, try this. So I guess I was kind of her guinea pig. Um, loved everything that I had, loved everything. I loved the protein shakes that we got rid of, but that's another story. Um, but you know, I loved it and she kept asking me to do it. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not a salesperson. I don't do sales. You know, that's, that's not my forte. And then I think, oh, so the moment I decided to change was when my husband, Courtney's stepfather said, Courtney's making a ton of money with this. You need to be doing this too. So I'm like, all right, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> and Courtney's like, you know, Courtney said, don't worry about it. You're always going to have help. You're always going to have people helping you along the way and, and teaching you. And it's honestly been that way. I've, everything that I've learned, I've learned from my team. And it's not just Courtney, it's Sabrina. It's all you guys. It's all you guys. A um, lot of support. Love it. Um, and now I find myself after, let's see, I started in June of 2019. So I think I'm going on my eighth month. Um, I love it. I love, like, I love doing sales. Like I love reaching out to people and I'm like, you're dumb for not doing this stuff. You know, it's great. Uh, and now and I did concentrate on that for the first eight months of my career here, uh, you know, getting customers. And I think I'm pretty good at that. And uh, now my concentration is going to get distributors because my current rank is Ruby and I want to be diamond. In fact, I need to be diamond by the end of March. I have no choice in that matter. So I, all my hosted posts, everything I'm doing now, it's every day. It's about being a distributor. Um, I have about 10, uh, 10 conversations going right now with different people. So I am determined to do it. I'm going to do it. It's not even going to be a try. It's going to be a do. Um, so before it works, what did I do? Well, I've, I've always, I work for a machine shop. I've been there for two and a half years. Uh, before that I was doing, you know, part-time jobs. I'm a, I can't say I was a stay-at-home mom, but <laughs> I'm a dog mom. I have five dogs. My kids are all grown and out of the house. There's one of them right there. Um, she's got her own house and the other ones are all gone too. Uh, was there anything else that I? Yeah, a conference. So you're Oh, conference. All right. So I had a couple aha moments. I did, like Mama B, she was one of my favorites. She made me cry. And I'm not a big crier if anyone, well, of course, Mom, you know me. So she really hit me hard again with the, just her story and where she's come to. And after hearing her, I mean, after hearing all of them, but especially after hearing her, I'm like, you know what? I related to her more again because I just turned 50 and she's 58. Um, I'm kind of like, it was Laura there. I was a little, eh, you know, I can do this, but am I really going to have a good audience? Because it seems like, you know, most of the company was say mid thirties, early thirties, mid thirties. But after going to conference and seeing people from all different walks of life, all different races, all different, you know, no backgrounds. It was, I guess that was my kind of aha moment. Uh, and also along with, of course, when the bonuses flashed up on the screen, I was like, Oh, and I seen the $15,000 and I'm like, I'm getting it. I'm going to do it. So that was my two aha moments, I guess, or three, actually it was three. And quick question, just because a lot of people, just like Laura was saying, that work full time too, and yeah. sometimes that they don't have time. So, how would you? What advice would you give them of fitting this in throughout their day? When you know, yeah, okay. So this is the business you own. You work it when you want to work it. The harder you work, the more money you make. It's. I think that's like almost in anything, especially sales. You make commissions off your sales. So I work full time. I work every day, Monday through Friday, from eight thirty a.m. to five p.m. Now. I, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I get a post going, I, I make my salary, I, I make something, I do something, I do a, a little short video on a, a, what's that called, not boomerang, um, oh my god, what's that thing called I use? Instagram story? No, the little video post thing that I put oh, on. Hyperlapse. hyperlapse? Yes, hyperlapse, I do a little hyperlapse and I get it up on my story, and then I always, you know, I'm sitting on the couch, I have my, my coffee, I'm, I've been having my keto coffee, and I talk about that, or I put a post up about something. I just get a post about something to get the day started. And then I fit all my, my messaging in between my breaks. So I get two breaks a day and a lunch. So you'll see most of my posts are during them times, you know, and I do have the occasional, you know, I have to go to the bathroom and I might be in the bathroom for 15 minutes because I have a conversation that I don't want to start. You know, it happens. It happens to all of us. And then at night I come home, I, I go downstairs and work out. I post about that. So, and in between my sessions, like I'll do uh, rounds, you know, I'll do my, what are they called, reps. So in between my reps, I stop and I message people. So you fit it in. You're going to be on your phone anyway. So when people say they don't have time, if you're sitting on the couch three, four hours a night, just going do, 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 you know, looking at, why not be messaging people and, and putting posts and, and making money? 
Yeah, why not make some money? And exactly, my mom was like really good every day at like be, being a product of the product and posting. And she's really good at signing high volume loyal customers. So conference, it, it, I th honestly, like since you've left conference, your life posts are amazing. Like your life posts are really, really good. And I think you realize that yes, you're amazing at signing high volume orders, but all the stories were heard at conference is that signing distributors is gonna get you to your next level and make more money. So that's what yes. you're focusing on. So people that are just starting and you're watching this, make sure that right away out of the gate, you're focusing on being a product of the products and showing people your results with the products, but also start talking about life posts and what the money you're going to be making, even if you haven't made it yet. Yeah, my my largest sales, I have customers that I still have, you know that, that are like 150, 160 BV and they're still current customers because they see my results that I'm getting. So I'm actually using the products and fitting them into my lifestyle and showing my before and afters. People like to see you using the products that you believe in what you're selling. And like I've heard so many times, they're buying you. They're not buying the product, they're buying you. So it works. Ha, it works. I know. And that's what Mark said. He's like, otherwise we have to change the name if it doesn't Yes, exactly. Work. Exactly. So yeah, that conference, that was a huge takeaway. Make sure you're definitely being a product of the product right out of the gate. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about running that auto shipment because you can sell the products in your auto shipment for cash on hand. Um, now we have a new sampling program, which I can touch on in a little bit too, but let's move on to Cindy. Cindy, give us a little bit about your story um, and before, a little bit before it works and then best takeaway from conference. All right. Um, so I... I came across Sabrina's post, um, and it's funny because I, I used to work with her aunt at a pharmacy. This was before I had Kalila. Um, <laughs> hi. Um, so I, before I started with It Works, I was working a 60 to 80 hour a week job, and I took the risk and went to a part-time position working 25 to 30 hours a week, which I still do now, but coming across the business, it was, after seeing Sabrina's post, it was literally a no-brainer for me to join. I did not hesitate to join either. Um, you know, I just wanted the, the freedom to, to have control of my own schedule so that I can be able to provide whatever I wanted for Kalila and not have to worry about working around someone else's schedule, you know, when I want to take vacations or missing out on Kalila's events too, um, because I work working the 60 to 80 hour job, I was missing out on, you know, her soccer games, her school events. I wasn't able to chaperone her school field trips. And that's something that I missed doing. Um, so as far as my story, goes um joining when i i'm sorry i'm gonna start crying <laughs> when i when i first joined this business um i had been diagnosed sorry it's okay we're here for you we'll cry with you so be before i came across sabrina's post um over over 10 years ago I was put in a situation by my biological mother and her husband where um, they planned together to have her husband rape me until they got a child out of that. They went on for a year. Um, and shortly after the child was born, the child was taken from me and I was kicked out of the house. Um, for over 10 years, I had lived with threats on my shoulders, you know, not being able to speak about this, this, you know, what I went through and everything. Um, and they didn't care that I had Kalila. When I had Kalila, I received multiple voicemails with threats from my mother telling me that she didn't care, you know, who I was with or where I was at. She would just wait for me. And if I spoke about the story, she would make sure that I would pay for it. Um, last summer, the what happened, what I went through came out to the public. Um, there's now an investigation, they're both arrested. Um, you know, we're going to trial in July. And when this first came out, when I first found out that, I, that they had been arrested and it was put out in the public, I went under a severe 
amount of stress that caused my blood pressure to literally jump through the roof. And I was put on three different medications to control it. Um, and when I found Sabrina's post, I started, I immediately started using the products. And I can tell you 100% the products is what helped control my blood pressure. Like not even the medication that I was put on helped, but the products did. And I'm so thankful that I found Sabrina and that I came across her post. Um, to this day, I use the products faithfully so that I can continue to keep my blood pressure under control. It has, it, the products have also helped me lose almost 40 pounds. Um, and as far as conference goes, listening to the stories, what I took away from that, like I, I never wanted to share my story publicly, but after listening to all the stories that I heard at conference, it gave me the confidence to be able to put my out my story out there with you know the rest of you girls from the team um and then just a couple of days ago you know i i now i'm speaking about it on my own page um because if i if i can help any if i can help anyone by just putting my story out there i would love to do that and let everybody else know that they are not alone and i don't want them to feel like they need to be held back um that's all <laughs> yeah and you're gonna change so many lives with that so, seriously like a week ago would you have ever said this on a zoom exactly no yeah. no it's a breakthrough moment you had a breakthrough moment at conference sharing with everybody i'm happy that you opened up about it because getting it off I'm your like shaking <laughs> No, it's going to get weight off your shoulders that you carry with you for a very, very long time that you kept quiet. And now you know you have a family and a group and a team to support you and will always be here for you. Through and this I'm, I'm so thankful for that, too, because, um, you know, as as some of you girls know, too, I, two of my sisters have kind of flipped the switch on me and they're not supportive of me having spoken up. I mean, it took me a month to be able to even sit down with the investigators and the DAs and everything to give my side of the story. And as soon as they found out that I did that, you know, they completely left my side and I don't have them there. And it hurts me, you know, because they're my sisters and them knowing that my mother had done that to me. Like you would think that for me, I felt like they should have, that should have been the moment where I should have had them the most. And I don't have that, but in you girls in my team, I have found that. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, especially all of you that I met there at the house. And you're very, 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 very strong. And I Thank you. honestly, if they're not here for you yet, it's just because they're not strong enough to accept it themselves. And one day they'll have to work on that themselves. It's nothing with you at all. So just know that. You're not unlovable now because of it. Like we all love you even more because of sharing it. Thank you. I love you guys too. <laughs> um, Alexa, you are up. So just a little bit about your story um, and then your biggest takeaway from conference too. All right. Oh, I hate having to follow that. That was like, I'm so recovered. I'm like, <laughs> my mind is Sorry. Like, no, don't be, please. Don't be sorry at all. Um, yeah, my name's Alexa. Um, I've been a part of it works for about three, almost four months, four months, I guess, in February, it's February. So four months. <laughs> um, so I started using the products, actually, um, my soon to be sister-in-law who's on our team, um, got me kind of hooked on them because she started doing, um, distributing and I was like, what are you doing? With it? Like, what are you doing? And then she made me a loyal customer and then, um, I decided to, be a distributor. Um, at the time, I also had another business I was doing for about a year. So I was kind of going back and forth with both companies and it was difficult for me to like, I guess, like find my niche. And then um, it was like right when I joined that like a lot of things in my life started going like down spiraling. I don't want to get too much into it because I know we're running out, out of time, but um, going to conference really just shifted my mindset completely. I've been saying that, I feel like I've said that phrase like <laughs> so many times the past, um, like the last week, but it's true. It's 
been such a shift and I feel like I've been so inspired and um what do you support I'm like getting all this okay sorry um yeah no trust yourself because we, we'll just go over it's fine uh, well basically I mean so I, I I'm a speech pathologist I work in a school full-time job I love what I do I joined this because I really wanted to make some extra income um I really love the products um I went through a really rough situation with my dad, which kind of really just, um, over the past like 11 months, that's been really draining. And it caused me to not be able to commit myself to fully like um, promoting products. And it wasn't because of the product, it wasn't because of anything wrong with anything. It just was me. I just was a complete, like, I guess you call it depression, but it maybe not that extreme, but I was just, I was just sad all the time. I wanted to sleep and I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to do anything at all. And then, um, I was like pretty much ready to, I think, call it quits with this. Right. Was I, Jenna, I was like pretty much ready. I was like, I think this is going to be it. And, um, we, I already planned to go to conference. Like, I'll go to conference, just see what it's like. And you know, maybe I, <laughs> I was like, I'll just see what it's like and then I'll be done. And then, ha. <laughs> jokes on me <laughs> not today satan <laughs> so i literally completely like mind shift like i have like pretty much two distributors i'm about to sign like after this conference call whatever we're having right now um including one of my cousins who reached out to me haven't talked to in a while on my dad's side so she's like how's your dad i'm like ah <laughs> wouldn't you like to know <laughs> Um, but anyways, wrap it up real quick. Basically, commerce is amazing. I learned so much. I gained so much knowledge and I gained so many friends and, um, I don't know. I kind of got my like esteem back, honestly. So Which, what like was the turning moment that you called your distributor and said you quit your other business? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it was just like, I've never, I, I never felt passion about it. Honestly, it was like money. Yeah. But I wasn't enjoying it. And when I, when you're doing something on the side and you're not enjoying it, like even you know, better yet, if you're doing anything, you don't enjoy what you're doing. Like, why are you doing it? You know what I mean? Like if you have the ability to have a full-time job that you love and then pick up a side business, like why not have fun with it? And I wasn't. So when I went to the conference and I met all of you guys and like I heard their stories and I heard about people who were in college or they had their master's degrees and they did this and it just, I don't know why that like inspired me because I'm not a mom, not a dog mom yet, but um, like, I mean, I'm 27. So like I just finished school. I'm still getting, you know, getting my grasp on things on adulting. It's really hard by the way, in case no one told you that. Um, I don't know. It just, everything shifted. I don't know. I don't know what it was, it was like that light bulb, that aha moment where you're like, yep, this is what I'm going to do. So. so like you saw our team and you're like, okay, dog moms, moms, like whatever, but you didn't have like that one person you think you could relate to. So when you went to conference, you realized there's thousands of people that you could yes. relate to and that they were successful while thinking that they like got, got their masters, had a career and yes. still ended up making millions. Yeah. Like, yeah. And honestly, like Courtney, like I didn't know how much you and I had in common. And like that, maybe that was my turning point at dinner. I don't know, with wine. It was, it was I, think, I think dinner was our turning point for like Cindy, me, you. <laughs> my mom was crying, I think. Was crying. <laughs> I'm sorry to say she was crying. But. It was the wine, but guys, we just, <laughs> we opened up about things that we don't post about on social media all the time, right? Like you, you don't realize like when you're thinking about posting and talking to people, you get stuck in your own head like oh no like what if I like embarrass myself or this or someone's opinion it doesn't matter but I think about all the people that you can change their lives because of your story and sharing that and we hold it in, hold it in because that's we're too afraid right to like share these things with other people and I know like for you it's kind of, it's not ready to be talked about yet but like like I don't really talk about the same things that we share in common but it is something that we probably should share one day or talk about to people that are going through with like family and like just situations that you think it's just happening to you, but it's actually happening to a lot of other people. So just know guys that when you are like brave enough to share your story, you will get 
tons of messages in your inbox from people that are complete strangers on the internet saying how helpful it was and how inspirational and how you're helping them. Because I shared my story. I mean, I only post, post it one time in three years um, about something that happened to me in college, but it, people, I, my inbox was flooded with people like, oh, wow, I can't believe you actually like said that. Like I've been going through this. I never talked to anyone about it. And it's just an awesome feeling once you um, are brave enough to get that story out there. In the meantime, if you're not ready to publicly talk about anything that's happened to you in your past, you can talk to people when you're going through distributor conversations. Cause if they say like, Oh, this happened to me. So I can't, I'm not ready to do this right now. You can be like, Hey, like I've gone through this, this, and this, and this business actually is helping me, helping me personally develop and become a better, like just being able to talk about it and just more free, right? Weight lift it from your shoulders. Um, did you have anything else to add? I think you were good. Um, basically last thing I got a letter from my dad's lawyer actually yesterday and we basically like got everything we asked for. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. And Cindy got a hundred dollar scratch off. <laughs> at conference. Um, what else happened this week? I feel like we've had a lot of good things happen this week so far. Um, so it's just going to keep going up guys that like, I never look, if you, I, if you just start it and you're like the devil, the devil, like people say that, right. But it's so true. You're going to start seeing it. Like the devil is going to try to throw you some curveballs and try to stop you. That just means that you're on the verge of greatness. So if you feel like things are going crappy in your life, or if there, you don't see the way up right now, just trust me, that's where your breakthrough is going to happen. So if you just push through one more day, one more step forward, you are going to have an amazing, amazing breakthrough. And I promise that's another Zoom for another time about going diamond and all the things that are going to happen on your journey to be diamond um, that we definitely should be doing. I, I want to do in the next week because everyone's pushing for diamond by March for these bonuses. Um, but I will save that for another Zoom. Carol, a little bit about your story. You are the newest person that went to conference and then just talk about... Um, your biggest aha moment and take away. Okay, so I'm Carol. Um, I'm a distributor. I just joined on New Year's Eve. Um, let's see, before this, um, I was a, well, I wasn't working for like two, almost three years. Um, in 2017, my last job was, I was a deputy sheriff. I did not like it. So I packed all my stuff. I quit. I packed all my stuff and I left to come back home. Um, I only did it to make my father proud of me. Um, don't be a me. Definitely do what <laughs> you want to do. Um, let's see. What else? Conference. Talk about works. Conference. Yes. Brand new. Yes, yeah, super brand new. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'll go to conference. Everybody's like, you should go, you should go, you should go. It's life changing. Yes, it is. It definitely is. If you haven't gone yet, go next year. It's it's definitely worth it. Um, just seeing how, you know, how it works has changed everybody's lives. Um, it was very touching. It's very open. Like, it, it, it was absolutely, I was crying so much at conference, so much. I was like, I tried not to cry because I didn't want people looking at me. Like I was crying. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sensitive. These are so touching. Um, <laughs> you know, I kept, I kept thinking like, is it worth it? Like before conference, I was like, you know, is it worth it? Should I really be doing this? I mean, I wasn't doing anything, you know, stay at home mom and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't working. Um, you know, I was like, is it worth it to put my time into this? And, um, you know, at conference, you know, it really changed. It really changed my mindset. So I think I'm in this for the long run. You think? <laughs> really for the run. <laughs> no, I, I am. I am. <laughs> I am in this for the long run. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mindset. Mindset shift. Yes, yes, yes. So you started, you've been in like a little over a month now and you are amazing at signing customers. Do you feel like from conference that you know that you need to focus on distributors now and do you feel good in your pursuit forward to go diamond? Yes, um, I definitely been doing a lot of uh, host to post on like getting distributors. Um, I have a few people that are actually really interested um, like next week when they get paid, <laughs> when people get paid. <laughs> Um, they're definitely gonna gonna join up and I'm super excited for them. Perfect. So. And yeah, following up, if anyone hasn't seen any like Jade's video on following up, you can just go on yeah. YouTube, type in Jade Hooper and go to her channel. 
If you're new, follow her channel. She has the best videos um, for training. And if you just type in follow up, she has a whole video on how to follow up. And she literally says she follows up until they block her. So <laughs> uh, honestly, it works. I've, if, I mean, there's probably multiple people on the Zoom right now that I probably followed up with like over 10 times and now they're distributors and they can't share income from their phone. So don't be afraid to remind someone that they said they wanted to do this um, and always finding a date that works for them and getting them in your calendar. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And Keisha, a little bit about your story and then your biggest takeaway from conference. Hi guys, sorry, I'm currently like walking into the house, so give me a second. Do you want me to switch to someone and come right back to you? Yes. Okay, Lily, you're up. All right, guys. That's my adopted daughter, Lily. I love you. Just want to say that. <laughs> I love you too. Um, so before it works i was working um 50 plus hours a week supervising a doggy daycare um not getting the pay i needed and constantly stressed out and just like hating my shifts and because of it works um it actually just like changed my life and my mindset and it kind of got me out of that oh you have to work at this job just because like you're getting paid it made me realize that you need to do what you love and to actually enjoy doing what you're doing every day, whether it be like a nine to five or whether it be it works full time. Um, it's just like crazy because before this business, I was mentally not okay. Like I was depressed. Um, I had a ton of anxiety. Um, I was in an abusive relationship where I was constantly told that I was like not going anywhere in life and it kind of pushed me to the, just make this business work. And like throughout this business, I've met so many of like my like forever family, like my people that like I can constantly like know that they're going to be there no matter what. Like I don't have to feel like I'm alone in any shape or form, which is crazy because like before this business, I didn't have a ton of people to support me as a support system. And that's what I think was the biggest blessing of this business is going to conference and realizing that, there are so many people that go through this similar scenarios and situations and they allow you to open up and just realize you're not fully alone. Um, it's crazy because two years ago I was depressed. So coming out of my shell was a big thing and talking to people, like even going live on social media was like a big thing I didn't do. And now it's like a daily thing and I'm helping so many people like whether it be sign up on Friday or next week. And it's just like so crazy. So like if anybody wants to go to conference or has thought to go to conference, you should definitely like plan it out and like go because it's life changing, like absolutely incredible. Like, I don't know what else to say, but it's an indescribable feeling. Like Sabrina said, like when you sit in that room full of people, like all loving the same thing and like all being so passionate about not only our products, but the company and meeting the the friendships that you meet like meeting the friends along the way is just like it's mind-blowing like you it's such an indescribable feeling like you can't even like it gives me it makes me shake like it does like it gives me like a adrenaline rush just thinking about it because it's such an amazing feeling just sitting in that room full of people and meeting people along the way it's just don't give up people like it's it's worth it like this company changes your life like no matter what and piling in a car with like 20 people <laughs> I'm piling in a car with like 20 people, like a clown car, a huge clown car. Do you remember any like specific story that was shared that like really t like hit home for you at conference I, or any moment yeah. that some one of them said? Yeah, I'd say like Jade's story because like she went from being like a hairstylist, working 50 plus hours a week supervising or like managing a salon. And that's definitely nowhere close to dogs. But I mean, like, I kind of just connected with that because it's like, you don't need to like do that. Like, you don't need to constantly tell yourself that these people don't want our products and these people don't need that because you can be the person that changes their life, whether it be with the products that they're going to use or the products like they're going to um, sell. Like, it's just like insane. And like, it's crazy because if she ever were to tell the person no or not, like, give it a try she wouldn't be where she is today and it's just like so insane that anybody can do this business it really is insane yeah and it was her close family members that were telling her like when is enough enough like don't you make yeah. enough money already 
And she's like, yeah. no, you have no idea how many more lives I'm going to change. Yeah, right? Yeah. And there's so many lives to change. Like, there's so many people that don't know about the business. Like, it's, like, it's just, like, mind-blowing. Like, I don't understand how, like, somebody can go from being somebody putting blankets up on the bed or I mean on on the she said she was putting sheets up to keep her son warm and stuff like she couldn't even pay for the heat and like now she's literally living in her second dream home I don't I don't remember where she moved to but like it's just insane what a business can do yeah Yeah. and like that 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 feeling when you first start especially there's a lot of new people on here right like that feeling when you first start you're like I'm gonna make an extra 100 bucks 200 bucks a month okay that's great then you make it and then you're like wait, I can make more. Like (laughs) I never even thought, like I never joined a business. I don't know about everybody else on here, but I never joined a business saying I want to make $10,000 a month. And then when I saw my first $10,000 and above paycheck in one friggin' month, Mm -hmm. I was like, I never even thought this was possible. Like I had no idea. So you have to make sure your mindset and your vision is huge because you can make, like when you hear an ambassador makes an average of $30,000 a month, that seems impossible when you first start a hundred percent. But once you hit that next rank and then that next rank, it gets more and more possible and more and more close for you to be attaining. So now being three years into this business and a triple diamond making $10,000 a month, I know that $30,000 a month is, is possible. So starting now, if you just start it and you just started for 200 bucks, you can make 30,000. Isn't mm-hmm. that like, what would that do? What would that pay off for you debt wise? And a huge thing, I said this in the beginning, but when Ashley Mayfield said to know your debt down to the penny, I want everyone here to make, I know Dana's already done it, but like everyone here get, collect their debt that they have and know that exact number. Because if you have a vision of what number you're working for to pay off, just imagine the feeling of being completely debt free. Mark, Mark even said at conference, it, like it's better. What do you say? Better to sleep in a house that's paid for, like mm-hmm. sleep, sleep in a bed under a roof of the house that's paid for. Like whoever thought that they could pay off their, their mortgage from a business they do from their phone, right? No, it's no, you go to school, get your, get your degree, get a high paying career job, keep moving up the corporate ladder. That's like what we've always been taught, but no, you can pay off your mortgage, your car, your, all of your debt from something that you do from your phone, helping other people. Awesome. Oh, look, Cindy knows hers too. (laughs) Good job. All right, everyone take away right now. Make sure you get your debt down to the penny and be looking that put on a post-it note next to I am diamond or I am whatever your, your goal is on, on the backsplash of your window or on your mirror in your bathroom. Uh, what does she say? She puts it on her toilet paper roll because you know you have to use toilet paper every day. So somewhere that you're going to look at it every single day because you're going to work harder and you're going to work consistently every single day when you have something to be working towards. That's including printing a chart out for your next rank. Um, Keisha, ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Hi guys, um, I'm Keisha. I am a distributor. I've been with the company for like a year and a half. I will be, I've let myself be hot and cold and hot and cold. And whenever I'm working, I do really good. Whenever I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. Um, so whenever they talk about consistency, it really is, it's key. Consistency is everything. Hi loves, I love you guys too. Um, conference was amazing though like being close to the fire and like putting true personalities and people with the names that are on the team it's just it's incredible like it whenever they say it get get to conference it's life-changing it truly is life-changing I wish I had done this a year ago um and then just everybody's stories and I think the biggest takeaway for me was one of the biggest things there's so many things but one of the biggest things for me was the closeness to God like that relationship and how everybody it seems like from our CEO to our top income earners you know give credit to God and they just talk about being close to the fire and being consistent and if basically where there's a will there's a way like from mama B working 70 driving 70 hours a week um and still working the business to full-time students and full-time employed people working this business and promoting like like a rocket it's all about applying yourself and being consistent but yeah oh and before this business um 
I was working 12 hour shifts. It was supposed to be literally half the year that I worked, but I was basically working 12 hours every single day, every week to pay for childcare and make ends meet. And I was still barely scraping by and I was praying and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I was like, or give me a way out of this. Like I'm missing out on my kid growing up. You know, I want to be able to supply and provide a good life for him, but I don't want to miss everything um, and hear about it from my amazing babysitters. Uh, and Sabrina approached me with this business and I was like, nah, man, I make good money. I'm too busy for that. I'm working or I was working 80 plus hours a week. And he's like trying to give it to me and I kept turning it down and it took me having an accident that should have killed me in December of 2017. Huh. And um, I had a friend that told me several months after the accident, who was the first responder, he said it's the worst accident he's ever seen and there not be a fatality. They rolled up and thought that I would be dead. And that's, that's just God, right? There. That's all that is, is God. I went, I love you, baby. I went to rehabilitation to learn to walk again so I could come home. Uh, the injuries that I had resulted in several surgeries, um, an extensive injury. It cost me that job that I was too reluctant to leave to come to It Works. Six months later, Sabrina approaches me again, and I'm like, dude, I would love to because I can't work anymore. <laughs> Go figure. Um, but I'm broke because this has been six months without any income. And she's like, dude, pre-sell this stuff in your kit where there's a will, there's a way. Well, I definitely had a will, and, and God mm -hmm. once again provided the way. It's open. It's open. And, uh, oh, I didn't know. And um, so I went for it. I pre-sold the wraps. The wraps were brought coming the kid at that time. I pre-sold that, and um, and joined the business. And I've been with it ever since. And now I'm determined. It's not a. It's not a. It's uh. How is it that Janet put it? It's not a try. It's going to be a do because I'm claiming that fifteen thousand dollar bonus. That is life changing. And I'm going to get my debt down to the penny so that I know exactly what I need to pay off whenever I get that bonus. But yeah, that's my story. And you know, like going before conference, like, yes, like you said, when you're on, you're amazing at this business, right? Mm -hmm. You sign customers, you sign distributors, hey. you sign a lot of people. And then when you're off, obviously, even if you take one day off from the business, it takes toll for weeks, right? Yeah. Like one day off with this business, I feel like it's taking a week off. A week off is taking a month off. Exactly. And it's not hard to stay consistent. It's little things that we do. It's not like hard. It's not like rocket science. We're not At like all. engineers right now <laughs> trying to figure out how to build a rocket ship. Like we are literally <laughs> just messaging people, posting, following up, posting to our stories, sharing our story, right? To connect to other people. That's it. That's all we do. And I know a lot of us either go live or we're posting or on our stories. I know some of us now have a YouTube channel, shout out to Chase, but like there's different methods and different things that we can do to relay our story. It's just reaching those people and having those constant connections every day. If you don't have at least 10 people in your inbox talking about the business or the products, go out and message, go out and talk to people. It's not cold messaging when you are already like friends with them. You're already like, Hey, I love you that. I love this, blah, blah, blah. And talking to them, right. As if they're your friend and you're sharing their, your story with them. So I think ever since you go into conference, I mean, it, it, you've been solid on lately, but I think conference just switched that for you that you're like, now I won't miss a day. Right. Exactly, because seeing everybody else's success and stories and actually being close to the fire, yes, baby, it, it shows that if you actually show up and do it, that'll be you. Exactly. Perfect. I love that. And I know you talked about faith in the beginning there, too, and I know Alexa said, like, she just wrote in the chat, like, she was raised Catholic, but hasn't been practicing very much. That was me. Like, I was raised Catholic. I mean, I made my communion, and then my mom said, do you want to keep going to CCD? And I said, no. So I didn't make my confirmation. And then that was, like, really it. We went sometimes for Christmas, sometimes for Easter, but it was never a big thing to me until I was introduced to this company and just realizing that, like, how, how much faith I had, like, how much more, like, I believed in a higher being and just having that vision and going to the worship night. Um, now I go to Christian, I go to, I don't, I don't practice Catholic, but I, I go to Christian church every Sunday. I listen to venue church on podcasts. Like there's different ways. As long as you are believing in something, 
you're going to start believing in yourself more. And I a hundred percent believe that. So it, it doesn't have to, I'm not saying like, Hey guys, make sure you believe in like God, Jesus, whatever, just believe in something, something greater, something greater. And then that's going to make you strive for a greater, right? Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter what God you believe in. Exactly. It doesn't it just, just having that vision always like create that vision board. Like Mark said, if you don't have one, make sure you guys have it of what things that you want, because you need to always be looking forward and looking at where you're going in order to get there. And that comes with just believing in greatness, believing in a higher being, believing in something that's going to get you there as well. Um, who is next? Dana. Uh, everyone cheer on Dana. She can do it. All right. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Okay. So um, my name's Dana. I, I guess next month will be two years with the business. And I'm a diamond right now, but I'm claiming triple by March. <laughs> um, so before it works, is that what we're doing now? Okay. So I'm a full-time first grade teacher. Um, before it works, I had literally started my first full year of teaching. So I graduated in December, got hired in January, and I started my dream job. Um, I opened my first paycheck and I literally was like, wait, I worked this hard. I think I'm missing a zero or something like something's wrong here because teaching is hard. And yeah, I wasn't get, getting paid enough for this. I was saving up for a house. Um, I like I, I just never did anything. I never left New Jersey and I like saw court and she was always posting about traveling and I was like, oh man, I wish I could travel too. I just got so much to do. But really I, re I wasn't doing anything, like nothing. I was just going to work and saving money, I guess, for a house with my $12 paycheck. So, um, so Courtney, actually before that, Courtney approached me and she was like, hey, do you want to, like be a hair model and I was like okay because I'm I've always been like the yes girl so Courtney was like do you want to do hair skin and nails I was like yes so I was Courtney's customer for like six months or more six months yeah yeah um <laughs> the products I never used them she never used them <laughs> <laughs> but I kept ordering because I felt bad okay <laughs> So I literally, that's just how I am now. Like I'm so introverted. I hate public. It's weird that I'm a teacher because I don't talk in front of people, but I'll talk in front of my kids, but adults, I get like super red. So, um, I was a customer for like six months and then I saw Tish join court and like court Tish and I, we all went to the same high school. I played soccer with Tish. She was older than me. Court's older than me. So I knew them. And then Tish messaged me and was like, do you want to try my greens? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> so I became a customer of Tish too. And then, um, then I guess there was a battle between the two. And then Court was like, I'm going to sign her as a DT. And me, I'm a yes girl. So I was like, okay. So, <laughs> so um, she was like, yeah, you have like an hour to decide. And I looked at Vin and I was like, should I do this? Like Courtney said, I'm going to rock at it. <laughs> And he was like, yeah, I guess so. I was like, well, like, I can make, like, like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. That would be cool. Like, I was pumped about that because I really just wanted to support my nail habit because I literally was talking to Vin and I was like, I, um, I was like, I can't get my nails done anymore. I have to save money for house. I can't go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and he was like, ah. Oh. So I was like, thanking on this money to get my nails done and for Dunkin' Donuts. And then, um, yeah, so signed up. Now I can still get my nails done. I bought my first house. I have traveled more in the past two years. Like I've been on a plane five times this year. And I think before it works, I was on a plane like twice in my life. So I've done so much. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. <laughs> um, and what else? I would take away from conference. Okay. So this was my second conference. So this year it was just like 
so different for me. And last year, I remember I went to conference and I was like a year into the business and I sat with Tish and I literally like, Tish was hysterically crying and I don't do that in front of people. So I'm like looking around and I'm like, what is going on in here? Everybody's crying. And the Tish looked at me and was like, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? And I was like, uh, cause I don't know what's, I don't know. I don't, I'm not showing my emotions. This is weird. Everybody's crying. You're making me uncomfortable right now. But I like, I didn't, I also like, didn't have like a, I don't know. I've never been to anything. And I think one of my things was like, I saw Cammy and Cammy said that she was a teacher before this. And I think that's one of the things that like got me like, okay, like, no, she was a teacher. What? She got out of teaching for this. So I think that's one of the things I like, what's the word for it? Help me. <laughs> like you, you found someone that you could relate to so that you realized it could be possible for you. So I was like, okay. So then this year at conference, literally all Mark said was close your eyes. And I started freaking crying. I cried the entire time. I didn't even care. Like it was just so many stories. My biggest thing was like consistency, being around like-minded people. Like I was always like, I wouldn't say I was always negative, but I just never had a vision before. I never, I thought I was just going to school, going to work, and living my best life, but, like, I never thought that there was going to be more, you know, like, I never thought that I'd be able to do the things that I'm doing now, so, um, I guess that's it. Awesome, thank you, yeah, no, I was just gonna say, like, yeah, your circle influences the way you think about things, so mm -hmm. you may have had some people that are your, were your friends, right, or friends in the past mm -hmm. that are always, talking negative or always saying bringing up the drama always do it like bring yeah. bringing the conversation down right so I'm like, like go read a personal development book and yeah. when Chloe first told me she's like personal development is key and I was like mm -hmm. yeah I do that every day and then over the summer I think Shay started the journaling zooms in the morning which are key get on those and um, so I started doing that, reading personal development, and I feel like my mindset has just changed a lot. Like things that I thought were important before are like very small. So, yeah. And actually, like like Dana just mentioned, but she didn't really say it too much because she don't want to say that she this is what happened. But she would say she was doing things and not actually do them. Yeah. So, like you guys. <laughs> don't want to lie to you. Don't, don't lie. Just because if you want to say, like, seem like, oh yeah, I'm doing all the things I'm doing it all. Like I'm doing all the, like all things you're telling me to do, but you're not like, what, why isn't it working for me? Because you're not right. You're just lying to yourself that you're actually doing everything. So mm -hmm. when we say personal development is like <laughs> important, don't say, yeah, I'm doing it, but you're actually not at all. Right. Even messaging was a huge thing that we worked, that we worked on. But it's, just, it's, it's literally like just talking to people. I know it can be nerve wracking to send that initial message, but just getting those conversations going. I know it's nerve wracking for someone even like, take Dana, for example, right? Like she w wouldn't message for months when she first started. I and didn't then voice message like Tish and Court. They know my voice, but they were like, it. remember you guys were all pumping me up in the text. Like, Come on, do a voice message. I was like, I can't do it. But but now you can't. <laughs> yeah and it's and, and those breakthrough moments of realizing like it's not you're not gonna die if you send that message you're not gonna <laughs> die if you send that voice clip but like actually doing it and getting a result from it like I remember sitting in the coffee shop with Dana and saying like we we're message we helped her message on her Instagram and she signed a distributor like right away like from just that one message that she sent on her Instagram imagine if she didn't do that mm -hmm. wouldn't have changed that life so Thank you for that. And thank you for hitting home on the consistency and personal development too. Um, Stormy, you're not in the video, but you're next. I don't know if you're there, but if you are, can you share a little bit about your story? I was like, I see her bed. 
<laughs> um, all right, we'll come back to Stormy. So who is next? Let's see, Jenna, you are up. A little bit about your story and your biggest takeaway from conference. Okay, um, so not much has changed. Like I haven't quit my job. I've been doing It Works for, I don't know, six and a half, seven months. I have been a banquet director for almost 10 years now. I've always been in food and beverage and hospitality. I'm a mom to two young boys. But uh, my husband and I bought a house in 2015 because we wanted to live the dream. And we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. And I guess between that and, you know, $1,600 a month childcare, we got ourselves into some debt. So I was looking for an opportunity to make money. But anybody that knows me, and I don't let a lot of people close to me, uh, knows that I work insane hours. Like I'll be up out the door by 5.30 and not getting home, you know, 5.30 in the morning and not get home until 11 at night. I do stretches. I mean, I don't have a choice. I, I make my own schedule, but I have to be there as business dictates. So I couldn't obviously get a normal job. Um, so I found it works. I had talked to Dana about Thermofight because I was unhappy with my weight. And then I ghosted her, but I stalked her online for a while. So rude. I did, I know. And then one day I just messaged her, like she had been posting, I think it was her post, but she's like, I just got my first four figure check. And that just resonated. I'm like, okay, like I can do this too. I want this. I want to be able to do this. And I messaged her and Dana was trying to like, tell me about the business. And I was like, I get all that. I know I want to sign up. Like you don't even have to talk me into it. And I just signed up and then I dove in with it. Um, I have definitely not, I know in November and December, I've been kicking myself. I was not as consistent as I was the first couple months and I felt it. So going into conference, I was definitely pumped. I've never had a moment of, I don't want to do this, but I've had moments of fear where it's like, I know you guys all say like, you know, don't let Satan get you or whatever it is that statement everybody makes. Um, but I've had the moments of like, I don't know, you start doubting yourself, like, oh, am I lucky enough? Is this going to happen for me? But it's such bullshit because it's nothing to do with luck, right? It's all about making it happen for yourself. So I have a very unsupportive husband. I mean, he's so unsupportive, but he uses the products every day. Like he was yelling at me the other day to order celery juice. So I get so like, he doesn't want me to do the business, but he wants all the products. Like he just doesn't understand it. He's very I don't know. He's like, you know, I made it live about the people don't understand what network, mar network marketing is. But anyway, like when I went to conference, I was excited. I had my future sister-in-law with me, which had me pumped. I never had, I am not an emotional person. I actually get uncomfortable around emotions. So I never had like this big aha moment. Overall for me, it was just like the stories and realizing like it wasn't just the gorgeous girls that made it work, right? It wasn't just like the young early twenties that were making this work. It was moms. It was not moms. It was 60 year olds. It was 18 year olds, like seeing all these different people and then all saying the same exact thing. Some of the stories were different with how fast they promote it. They all said, I did this every day and I believed in it. And I always had the belief, but that was my moment of like, you are going to make this happen, right? I've always known I wanted to do this business and I wasn't going to walk away from it. I finally, like those barriers came down and I was like, okay, like you're going to make this happen, you know? So that was it. Like there was not one moment. It was just conference overall um, was incredibly powerful for me. And you're, you seem like you were Dana 2019 and then next year you'll be Dana 2020 and, yeah. and cry. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. All the tears. All the tears. I don't know. I don't know. Awesome. Well, it was, I'm glad that you came and you just went Ruby while we were there. So congrats for that. And you're going to go diamond by March and get this. Book. I am. Yay. Um, let's see. Okay. So I, I think everyone that went to conference has gone. Um, I'm going to, if you haven't write in the chat, so let me know if I forgot you and we're going to share one last story real quick from someone who is an amazing leader on our team and went last year and wasn't able to go this year because of a newborn baby, but she is one of the like 
best human beings ever and I want her to share. So sorry, Tish, I know you might be crying, but can you unmute yourself and talk to us? <laughs> Get on here, Tish. Get on here. He's going to freaking cry. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Great. Um, hey, guys, I'm Tish. I'm a double diamond on this team, and I was not at conference because I have this little nugget. <sighs> Hi. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> so, um... I need a conference more than like ever this year. Um, I don't know like what I would. Okay. So I, I don't even know where to start because Courtney just asked me to do this. So I wasn't like prepared at all. I went to com my first conference in January of 2018. I joined January 22nd and I was like conference is the last weekend of January. So she asked me to go. I was living in Florida and I was like, all right, like I'll go. And it changed my life. Um, like, everyone that went there, like, I was just like, guys, you're gonna, like, this is gonna change your life, like, it does, like, the, the Mark speech at the end, like, it's just so inspiring, like, you leave there with, like, such a fire, and, like, after just, like, being on the Zoom, and, like, seeing everyone, and how it affected them, and, like, knowing, like, how they were before conference, and then hearing how they are after conference, and then seeing them put in the work, like, it's just like even more reason like if you haven't gone to conference yet get there next year guys because it changes your business and you make so much money and you make so many friends like besides the aspect of like finances besides that like I didn't talk to Courtney for 10 years and then she was like oh do you want to go to this conference and be in a girl in a room in a house with 12 girls that you don't know like that is not my comfort zone, but like, okay, like you're going to tell me I'm going to make all this money because they're my best friends now. Like Sabrina and Court, Sabrina's coming to New Jersey next week and we're having Valentine's Day. Like I never would have met Sabrina if it wasn't for It Works, you know what I mean? So yeah, I have like the best friends from It Works. I have the best support system. This year has been like the, the worst year of my life. I lost my husband. I have a new baby. Um, I needed conference more than ever, but the Zoom was like everything I needed, I think. And I haven't even like been able to get on Zoom, so I've been getting like an hour of sleep. But I wanted to be on this one. And um But yeah, I made like a lot of money with it work. <laughs> My highest paycheck was like eight thousand dollars. <laughs> and um I love it and I'm not going anywhere and I love you guys so much and then that's it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cry and then, oh, I made a lot of money. <laughs> I made $32,500 in bonuses. Oh, uh, yeah. I made that and I'm going to make another thirty <laughs> six, another $36,000 in bonuses. So. Thanks. <laughs> oh, man, I, ended, I started on a cry and then we ended on a cry. But that's how you know that it's just like crazy that the things that you learn and I, and Tish kind of mentioned it there when she first went to conference a week in she realized like people with her past were successful in this business and I mean T Tish shares her story all the time so I'm sure she's comfortable with me talking about it but having like I'll, I'll share it yeah so um I'm in recovery um I have I'm gonna have five years clean and well. Um, I was a heroin user and like the fact there was, what's her name? Courtney Sharp. Courtney Sharp went on stage and she was like, yeah, like I used heroin. Now I'm a millionaire. And I was like, what? Like she was in my pit, you know, like she did this. So yeah, for everyone that like, you, you've got to find that person. Like you, I follow her on all of her social media stuff because that's who inspires me. You know what I mean? When now I like and like life changes and you're gonna follow different people now I'm a mom now I'm a single mom you know like I'm following single moms and it's just like just find your person and that's gonna that's like make that person like take their life posts and make it like your own but like use their you know and like use their stories and stuff but definitely find your person yeah so like everyone I think when you first start that's one big main thing that I did too is find someone that you can relate to and then get inspired by what they're posting every day to inspire what you're going to post. Like Sarah Nearman was my person. Like she had her MBA. 
she finished her master's. She had a great career. And then she started this business on the side and it just took over. Um, she is now a mom, which I don't relate to yet, but the, everything else with the student loan debt, everything along those lines, having that career, thinking that was your future and then it changed. Uh, I relate to, so I follow her a lot for inspiration. If you're a mom, Jade Hooper is really good just to follow for being a mom. Um, there is like Tish said, she, you can find like someone that's a single mom, you can find someone that's a college student, like whatever your walks of life are right now. And as your season's changing, just find someone new to inspire you. I think, mom, you said you follow when you first started Amy Painter, because she's around your age, right? So, and she's successful in this business. So just find, following someone, uh, if you don't know who to look for, or, or like what whatever you want to relate to, just ask one of us, ask someone in the chat, um, ask someone on our team chat and we can help you find someone that to look up to. Yeah, so if anyone else has someone that they look, look for, look, they, they look for for inspiration, put it in the chat here so people can follow them if they need help. But literally, that's what I would do. If, I'm, if ever I am stuck for a bit of life post about the business every day, I will go on Instagram and look at people's in the company's Instagram posts or on Facebook and look at their po life posts and be inspired from that. I know, I think it was Lily shared at conference, like when we were all sitting there talking, that she just gets a quote, like she looks up a really inspirational quote, and that will inspire her for talking about a live video or even doing a post. So you, there's all different ways that you guys can be making sure that you're putting, making sure you're open for business every single day on your Facebook and your Instagram. Make sure you're utilizing both platforms um, and on your story as well. Awesome. Yeah. And Dana, maybe guys. I know. <laughs> I know Dana was crying all the whole time at conference. It was insane. And I was the first day, but then the second day I could see her up in the stands crying in her eyes out. Um, but yeah, no, it's awesome. It's really, 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 really but make it a priority to go next year for sure. And if you see any events near your house in the meantime this year, make sure to go. Um, so to end this, I want, if you have anyone has, has any questions, put them in the chat. If you have a question for someone that talks, just put it in the chat um, and I can open it up to them to answer. But I wanted to touch on the, the, the money takeaways that we got, like the, the new things real quick. Um, so the, we have two new products. We have our skinny coffee, which I drank half of at six o'clock. And that's why I'm like ready to go. Let's go. Let's keep working all night long. Um, but the skinny coffee is a black coffee. It's a French roast coffee. It's an instant coffee packet. You can pour it right into six to eight ounces of hot or cold water. And that's it. If you drink black coffee, you're going to be obsessed with it. It's amazing. Brett's already asking if I ordered like 10 bags because he's going to drink it every day. Um, but you are going to stay fuller longer. It's going to help with your burning fat. Um, there's nootropics in it, which is really good for your brain health, brain health and brain focus. So if you feel like super cloudy ever, you know, if you know, if you have ever felt cloudy, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's called brain fog and it happens to a lot of us. And nootropics is a supplement that's been popular the last couple years. Um, they put it into our coffee. So it's going to help you with that brain fog and that focus. And people that usually drink a couple cups of coffee a day, you only need this one and it'll be good for you all day long. Um, and people are, there's, I posted them on my uh, Facebook today. There's been results rolling in for people using it for only a week and they're already losing weight from the coffee. So you can drink that in the morning, drink that right um, early afternoon. You don't want to drink it at nighttime because you won't go to bed. And I'm doing the skinny coffee. Yes. Yeah, so it's called skinny brew. That's one of the new products. Um, it comes in a bag of 15, a bag of 15 as a loyal customer is $49. And then if you get a month's supply, which is two bags, it ends up only being 79. So it's only a dollar more than, um, keto coffee for the month, which Sabrina figured out. So yeah, it's only a dollar more. That's how you can remember it. And you also get another discount. I think it's like 112 or something, right? For three bags. So you end up getting, or 60 days, 60 servings. So you look on your uh, website, you can see the discount for 15, 30, and 60 servings. Um, as it goes up, it gets discounts down more. And then it ends up being like less than $3, around $3 a cup for this coffee that's going to help you increase your focus, curb your hunger, burn fat, amaz a lot of amazing things. I don't like black coffee, so I added in a little bit of a sugar-free creamer today, and it was delicious. It was absolutely amazing. If you're doing low-carb or keto, just make sure you're checking the sugar count on your creamers if you're adding anything in it. Sample cash, like Sabrina just said. So with this product, it comes in, you can, how do I describe this? Um, Jade posted this on Wake Price Slay, so you guys can look at her 
follow like step-by-step -step instructions. But if you are on the It Works Connect app, it says send a sample now. And if you click that, it's gonna make you download our new It Works sampling app. It's called It Works Sampling. Um, as soon as you click it from the Connects app, it will bring you over to the sampling app. The sampling app, you can buy credits. So if you buy five credits, which is five sample packs, it's $30, right? So $30, you buy five sample packs. Let me do math, make sure I don't mess anything up for you guys. Um, but if you sell them each, each five, right, for $15, and one sample pack comes three days, so three days worth of the coffee. If you have it, oh my gosh, wait, let me show you. My customer got it today. I sent it on Sunday. He got it today. So it's shipping really fast. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but they're beautiful. It comes in a pack. Actually, let me show you the front. It comes in a card. It's a card that says, does your coffee help you burn fat? And then you open up the card and it's gonna give you the three packets, the three days supply. On the left-hand side, it actually says swap your morning cup of coffee and it's gonna help burn fat, sharpen focus, boost energy and curb cravings. And then it has the ingredients in there. So it's all very transparent for the customer. And then on the right side, it says billions of cups of coffee are consumed every day. Someone is getting paid. Why not you? Work from anywhere. Set your own hours. Make money. Weekly, daily, weekly, and monthly. So literally, it tells them how amazing this coffee is. It's going to make you skinny and rich and go over to the rich side and say, hey, why don't you start selling this? Like, if you, you're going to love it after using your three days. You're going to either want to buy more or become a distributor. And our company is now doing that for us. So. The sampling app, you can all you have to do is put their name, their number, their email, and their address, and it ships right out to them. So you buy the five credits for 30 bucks. You're gonna sell it to them for 15. Yeah, Sabrina's showing, so you guys can look there. So 15, you sell all 15. I mean, you sell all five that you get for the credits for 30 bucks, for 15 bucks each. You can do 15, you can do 20. It's totally up to you. Your sample cash is always up to you, your discretion of how much you wanna sell it for. Um, but if you do it for $15 for the three, so $5 a cup, it's, you're going to make 75 and you minus the 30. So you made $45 in cash just for selling coffee samples. And this is awesome because you're going to make $45 in cash every time that you sell five samples, right? But it works, takes care of, of the shipping and the handling for you. So the samples go right on out. The customer pays you with cash or Venmo or PayPal or Facebook pay whatever you prefer or whatever they prefer to pay you for that $15 or $20, whatever you want to do. And you're going to have cash in your pocket. Plus they're going to literally fall in love with it the first day. Like Brett just had it this morning. And now he said, can you buy 10 bags? Like they're going to fall in love with it the first time they try it from their focus all day long. And then they're going to become a customer or become a distributor. So you're going to make cash and get a customer or get a distributor. Or if you have a current loyal customer and they buy it for 15 bucks, they're going to add it on to their auto shipment or they're gonna add, place another one-time order. Um, they responded, I think I told my Christmas came early. Get an error. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't fill it in again. It does get duplicated, that happened to me too. So just make sure um, you only send the sample once and you can put a ticket in for that too. But yeah, so sampling is now part of our It Works Connect app. So make sure you're utilizing the crap out of that because you can make a lot of money. And I know a lot of people on here have already made a lot of sample cash. If you've made sample cash, can you comment below how much you've made so far in the chat so people know? Um, I sold three, so 45. Awesome. Exactly, see, like people, and this just got launched on Saturday. So, Utilize that. It's only the three packs of coffee right now um, of the Skinny Brew. I'm sure they're going to open it up to more sampling in the future. I can't do math. Sold three. <laughs> Sold four. Can't do math. I think that's 60. <laughs> so 50. Yeah. Um, so yes, that's great. And then so sampling done. New product, Skinny Brew. Our other new product was Keto Tea. And it's literally the same thing as the keto coffee. It has MC2 oils in it, grass-fed butter. Great for the keto diet. Great even if you're not on the keto diet. It's going to keep you full. It's great for an afternoon pick-me-up. It has no caffeine in it. So people that have told you, like, I can't do the coffee because I can't do caffeine. I can't do Thermophyte X because I can't do caffeine. You want to go back in your messages right now and talk to them about the new tea that's decaf. How many times have you had someone say, I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea? 
or I drink tea, I don't drink coffee. Go back to all of those people and tell them about the new product of keto tea. It tastes like a chai tea latte from Starbucks. Exactly, it's so good. It's creamy. It tastes like, like Jade said, tastes like fall. I think it tastes kind of like Christmas. I don't know, it just tastes, it tastes so good. You can make it hot or cold. Um, so you can make it ice. I know a lot of people have been asking that too. Yeah, oh yeah, I, my, my skinny bro is coming this week. I have to order the keto tea still but it comes in packets, just like the keto coffee, literally the same packaging. And it comes into a chai. It's not too spiced. I know some people are like, Oh, I don't like chai. Just try it. Just, just get one bag and try it. Like I, I honestly think that you'll fall in love with it. Like we did at conference. It's so, so good. You had the chai ice. Oh yeah. That's what I want to do. I need to do that. So it's decaf. Like I said, so you can drink that in the afternoon. You won't, you won't be up all night. Um, and then people that can't do caffeine, you can offer them this and people that don't drink coffee, offer them this. So we have, that comes in like at 15, 30, and 60 again, and it discounts on the way up. I think it's only $69 for a month's supply. So it ends up being a really good, and it can be your snack, right? It could be people on the keto diet, uh, on the keto diet, it can be their snack, it could be your snack on your weight loss journey, anything along those lines. So, um, so we got the two new products, sampling app. So everyone's going to go start selling samples and making a lot of money and then get customers and distributors from it. And then offer these products to people. Definitely. Um, hopefully they don't sell out like Thermofite X did last year when it was so hot that it sold out for three months. Um, and it was on back order. So you want to try to sell as much of it now as possible, just in case it ever does go on back order. Right. You can use that as a sense of urgency too. Hey, why don't we get your order in before it goes in back order? Um, bonuses are like huge, right? So the bonuses are always announced at conference. They're usually amazing. Like, I don't, I don't think they ever have not been amazing. They're, it's a lot of money. Um, so right now, if you go diamond by March 31st, you will get a $15,000 bonus. If you're a brand new distributor in February, you have three full calendar months to get the $15,000 bonus. Um, if you're a brand new distributor in January, you got three full months too. So count out full months. So if you start it today, and you have full months. So that would be all of March, all of April, all of May. Okay. So now if you have already been in the business, you want to be focusing on March 31st be, being diamond before then our team loves promoting in February. So promote this month. If you haven't hit Ruby yet, hit Ruby this month, hundred um, percent. And then double promote to Emerald and diamond next month. If you've already hit Ruby, you're going to want to go as hard for Emerald as you can, and then work right on to double. So the way to do this, honestly, like this $15,000 bonus, you guys want it hundred percent. You want it. Your check's going to be huge. Like you want this bonus. So I would make sure, even if it scares you, to print a diamond chart, go document library e-suite, type in diamond chart, and you'll see it. It's under marketing materials, I think. Download it, have it as your screensaver, print it out, just start filling the boxes with people and then helping them go Ruby. So basically all you need to know is how to go Ruby. Melissa did a training on the Dream Team page um, about the bonus and everything and how to go diamond. So you go check that out on the Dream Team page. Jade's doing the diamond calls every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock Eastern. So make sure you're on those as well. And then people are doing power hours all the time. So make sure you're getting on power hours and doing working power hours um, and working for filling these boxes with people who want this business and then helping them get their first six customers and you get your, your customers as well. First six customers now. Oh, and then bonuses go up from there, guys. So after you get diamond 15,000, you're, you're gonna get double, right? For 20,000. and then triple and above each get 30. There's no limit to as many as you can get. So if you keep promoting, you will get the bonuses. So just keep going, keep focusing on that next rank that you want to get and that bonus and that money you want to make. Um, as far as fast start bonuses, when you are a new distributor, you get fast start qualified by getting six loyal customers in your first three months. And for every two loyal customers that you get, you'll get a hundred or a $50 shopping spree. Now, flip it, right? You get So that's 150 total that you end up getting as a new distributor. Now, the person that enrolled you, so this is going to be your, your focus. After you get your first six customers, you're going to be like, I'm going to help these people, these three people, my mom, my sister, my best friend, whatever it is, um, start their business. So they're going to be working on their shopping sprees. But every time they get two customers that they personally enroll, you get $50 for being their trainer, for helping them be successful in this business. The company rewards you for bringing them on as a new distributor and then training them to get their customers. So just like you got your first six customers, you're gonna help your 
so just say you sign up your mom, just like I did a couple years later, but so you sign up your mom and she's rocking it and she gets her six customers in her first week and you get $150 in cash that's deposited weekly. So that would be next week. So say you signed her up today, she got all of her six customers by tomorrow, by Friday. Like she just got them all on her first day. Next Thursday, you're gonna get $150 added to your bank account right away. It's unlimited. So you can sign up, as you're going diamond, you need what, 15 distributors? You can sign up 15 people, get them all, get the, teach them all to get their first six customers, how simple it is right now when everyone's trying to be healthier, people are getting tax returns. You sign up all of them, that's $1,500 that you're gonna be at it just as a bonus. This is an addition to your check. Just like those, that $15,000 bonus for going diamond, that's an addition to your monthly commissions. So think of everyone and their mom, <laughs> like literally, like think of everyone you can think of right now that could want this extra money. Don't prejudge someone who has a great paying job. You know what I mean? Like if Melissa didn't ask me, if I never, she never talked to me because she's like, oh wow, she has a corporate job. She got her MBA, like whatever. You know what I mean? Like we think, oh no, they don't need this. Like they don't need, everyone wants extra money. Everyone has debt. Everyone wants to be able to pay that off one day. Everyone has student loans that a lot that went to college. You know what I mean? Um, people, a lot of people have a lot of debt in some shape or form, whether it's credit card debt, student loans, whatever. So don't prejudge. Ask everyone right now. Like that would be my main focus for the beginning of the month, especially is getting your distributors to fill the chart of the rank that you want this month and then helping them get their first six customers. Melissa did the math. If they all get, say, say their first six customers are um, a cleanse, was it cleanse, celery, and thermo, that's 93 BV, right? For someone to have their weight loss challenge. You times that by six customers, that's 558 in volume for that one distributor, just for getting the first six customers. Four of you guys do that and you're Ruby, you're over Ruby. So just break it down as simple as possible as you can in your mind for your goals of what rank you wanna be and just break that down by what orders you need to get and what distributors you need to get and you guys can do it. Does anyone have any questions on that um bonuses fast starts and then codes yeah so codes are codes right every new distributor gets three codes y'all yeah but they need pbv so yeah. yeah so so anyone in january if you had an order a customer an auto ship anything like anything that had volume you got three codes and if you didn't get them in your email box, it was in your spam folder. And if it's not there, go to um, reports on eSuite and hit promo code report and they'll be there. If they're not there, put a ticket in. If you're a brand new distributor signing up in February, you will get your codes as soon as you have a customer, an order or an auto ship. So just make sure that you get those, that, that volume in. Um, as soon as you get your first customer, you're gonna get codes for $69 to start. So if you just signed up and you used the code and you were, it was $69 for you to start, welcome. Like that was awesome. Your distributor that enrolled you only had three codes and she gave one to you. So that's awesome. Like that's, that's amazing. So we all get three codes, anyone that had volume in January, and then any new distributors that we sign up now in February, they're going to get three codes as soon as they get their first bought, set of volume, first order. Um, that is going to be a, I mean, $99 is what I paid, is what Sabrina paid, is what a lot of us paid, right? Like Dana, I think you paid $99 too. Like Tish paid $99. We all paid $99 to start our business. So that's a great deal. $99 is such a great deal. But if you can discount at $30 extra dollars, so it comes down to $69, that's like a no-brainer to start a business, make a $15,000 bonus in your first three months, make an extra $2,000 a month from your phone. So be preaching that every day, talking about it to people. If people don't have money for the products, Go right into the business. Um, go live on your Facebook if you can. If you're not ready for that yet, just go record something on your story. Do a pre-recorded video first. That's what I think my mom, her first video on her Facebook was a pre-recorded video. Um, I think mine was actually too. So just practice, 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 practice. You'll eventually be comfortable with going live and talking about the business um, and always be posting about it on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your story and talking to as many people as you can about the business and use those codes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just wanted to say about that real quick, I'm sorry. Uh, just your first few live videos are probably gonna be very hard and you're probably gonna mess up 
and but you're going to critique your video way more than anyone else and you probably will see the mess ups but probably other people won't so i just wanted to add that yeah because no one girl exactly no one's really caring oh it's danny <laughs> i was like who are you talking about who's danny and i realized it was danny the, the tripod <laughs> um no yeah like you you care more about like I mean, there's what there's so many audiobooks and so many podcasts that talk about that too, but it's other people's opinions at the end of the day. Like you care more about that than other people actually care. Like, oh my God, did they see my what did I say the one time? I went live and I was like, Oh, you could see my fat roll in the video. <laughs> and I like sent it to my mom. I think I sent it to you guys and I was like, Should I delete this? <laughs> They're like, I would have never even looked down there and you look fine. Like, are you kidding me? What? Oh, you're gonna have people like like last week when someone told me I looked like I was gaining weight, like all my live video, I was going live. Like it's, it might, like people might say mean things, but what do you do? Just block them and move on. Like that's all I did. I would have got rid of them and moved on. You don't need any of that toxic negative energy in your life ever. And you're going to have all of us there watching your video, watching your live video, watching, cheering on your life posts and just like pumping you up. So don't worry about that. You won't be alone. Um, yeah, they're dumb. You won't be alone. But yeah, I would be talking about the business as much as possible right now. Uh, make sure you're doing your own power hours. If you were on that Zoom on Tuesday with um, Brittany and Jade, like J Brittany's like, I send 200 messages between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. and I'm ready to go for the day. Like the, I do my own little power hour in the morning. So just find your time to do your own power hour. Um, if you have a team, I would still make sure you have like an hour set aside or half hour set aside, just working your own business and then going and helping them. Um, code wise too, I want to hit on this. If you have a team and people aren't working, but they had volume in January, go ask them for their codes. So if you have people under you that aren't actively working, but you know that you had customers there or, or there was order there in January, go say, Hey, um, you got codes for the business are, since you're not working right now, do you mind if you like give them to me so I can give them to people that need them? Uh, so that then you can pile up some extra codes too. And yeah, just share your story every day. All these stories you heard tonight, people are going to be sharing this online. And it's going to hit somebody and one person is going to be praying for this story, praying to realize that there is a way out. There's some money that can be made from their phone while they're home with their babies, while they're home with their dogs, while they're just home trying to plan for a trip or save up for a house or go on vacation. Like, you know what I mean? Like all these things that you've heard, all different parts of stories. And these were just some of the things that we heard at conference and realizing it's possible. But if you guys have any questions, uh, I'm going to end it and I'll post the recording for anyone that missed it. And yeah, if you missed that diamond training on Tuesday with Brittany and Jade, the recording's probably up on Jade's YouTube. So you can go look there as well. But thanks everyone for sharing. Um, diamond by March 31st should be like top of your dream board. Put I am diamond on the back of like your computer on your toilet roll on your, on your mirror and just do it. It is, it is, it's hard. It's a hard journey. It's simple steps, but it's a hard journey to get there because there's going to be bad things that are thrown your way. Cause that's what happens to every single one of us that went diamond. Um, so we can do that for another zoom and I will post that when we plan a date for that. So hopefully we can do it in the next week. Yeah. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? <laughs> but thanks everyone again for sharing your story and being vulnerable. And I hope someone, I hope everyone got something out of this tonight and share this with somebody that wasn't on here and you know that they want to, they should listen to it and let's go work, get to work and be consistent and not miss a day and work consistently now until May, honestly, like do every single day now until May, until you hit your, until you hit diamond. Cause hundred percent of you guys do work every single day from now until just keep going till May, you'll go diamond and above hundred percent. I know that no doubt in my mind. Um, but yeah, have a great night guys. And I love you all. And I can't wait to see you all at Jade's diamond treat retreat in October. So get to diamond by March 31st to be there. All right. See you guys.